What's up tubers? Teal here, Simplistic Fishing. It's time for another tackle giveaway. That's right, it's time to give away two of the six cents monthly subscriptions. We're getting close to 10K too, and you guys know what that means. So let's see what this thing has to offer tonight. We're gonna open it up, give out a keyword. You guys will be entered in to win. Hopefully, once you put your comment out there, you hit that like button, all that good stuff, you'll be entered in to win. And then we'll come back next week and do the drawing to see who the lucky winner is going to be. Let's go open it up. So those of you who didn't see the uh, the six cents drawing last month, I actually screwed up, messed up the subscriptions, and only got one subscription because I was canceling the other one was on a different card. I was trying to get everything onto one account and forgot to order the second box on that other account. So I was only able to give away one six cents box last month. And this month, actually, as of today, I only have one of these boxes, but the other one should be here tomorrow. I'm hoping it's the same thing. If it's not the same thing, I'll let you guys know on the new, on the next video uh, what's inside of it, and then we'll just do the drawing all together. So let's go ahead and open this one up. It's, a, it's never been opened, so let's see what's inside. And I don't cheat. I don't go out to, <clears throat> to other YouTube channels and see what what's in the box so you, my surprise is your surprise if you know what I'm saying so let's open this thing up a little bit and let's see what we got hey I like it already because it's cardinal red and you know we all love the cardinals right there we go boom and I'm not talking Arizona baby I'm talking St. Louis the yeah, that's pretty 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 color all right let's see what's inside this bad boy here we go there's the sack love the colors Love everything about it. That's pretty sweet. Let's open this thing up and see what we got. And I can tell you right now, <clears throat> just by feeling around, right? I'm just feeling it. I don't know if you guys can tell by the camera, but there's something, I'm just gonna say fairly large in this bag, right? I don't know what it is. Last time, what was it that we got last time? We got, I can't remember, was it a trace? We got, I can't remember what it was, but they gave it away in a sack and I was super surprised. This time it feels like we got something pretty big in here. So we'll save that one for last. Let's just dig around, just digging around, see what I can find. Here's something small. You've got some drop shot hooks. Ooh, wow. You say that, but hey, these things are fish catching machines. And maybe they put a soft plastic in here. Let me see if I can find a soft plastic to go with this drop shot. Feeling around. Pretty small, ooh, this is awesome. I like this, this is called the Glitch 3.8. It's an exclusive color, it's like a, a drop shot minnow. Check that. I mean, my camera doesn't do it justice because it's trying to look through the plastic bag and I don't want to open it. So I always just leave them unopened when I give them to you guys. But these two paired together can do some serious damage, especially in the winter time. And if you want to really know where to throw that, you know, one of the great places to throw these things are on, on uh, bridge pillars. So just go around to the bridge pillars, throw those drop shots, figure out if you got forward facing so it's really easy. But if you don't, uh, just mess around with your different depths with your drop shot and you'll be surprised at how many fish you can catch. That is pretty sweet stuff by Six Cents. As usual, they always have the best stuff. I feel like a crankbait or something. Let's see what this is. That's a, that's a cool color. Looks like a hub above a color or something like that. This is a curve 55. It dies five to nine feet. Uh, it's three eighths ounce. And it is probably one of the coolest looking colors I've seen in a while. Let me see if I'll go with this angle for you guys. Check that out. I'm gonna call that hub above. My son would probably be laughing at me right now. He's like, man, you just, that's just stupid, man. But hey, that's what I'm calling it. It's called cherry limeade. And that makes a lot more sense. So we're gonna call it cherry limeade because that makes way more sense. There's your cherry, there's your lime, there's your cherry limeade. Man, what an awesome look of lure. Pretty, pretty cool. You can see the, I don't know if you can see the, the bill on this thing, maybe you can see it from this. It's got a pretty decent sized bill, so that much what's given it that drive all the way down to nine foot. So pretty cool stuff. I'm feeling another two, two more smaller like crankbait type boxes and then some giant box. So this is going to be cool. The next one is going to be, man, 
If Landon could only see this now, this is the uh, Slow Sink Quake 70. It's in this purple color. And you're probably wondering why I'm saying that. And that's because Landon just caught his PB. Landon is my son. Just caught his PB on Lake Ray Hubbard throwing a lipless crankbait that had a little bit of a purple tint to it. And this, um, this gets pretty close to it right there. So that's some pretty cool looking Pretty cool looking lure. Man, just look how good their lures are. As far as these crankbaits, I guess I should have went back and kind of talked about it. <clears throat> you know, riprap, different types of cover, uh, flooded timber, uh, maybe not brush, you know, because you're going to dive into that brush, but fishing that around flooded trees, stuff like that, it's definitely going to be a good go. These lipless crankbaits, the one that I just dropped on the floor, you can throw that pretty much anywhere too. It's it's the riprap as well. You can throw that around the riprap. You're not going to go all the way down, but just kind of ticking around the bottom. You'd be surprised what you catch, and you can fish all kinds of different depths. You can also take those lipless, as we talked about before, and yo-yo them. So you'll throw them out there, let them go down the bottom, pull it up, let it fall back down the bottom, pull it up, let it fall back down the bottom. Pretty similar to the blade bait that we were talking about. A couple of weeks ago so lots of good stuff you can do with those lipless crankbaits now let's go on and move on to what else is in this bag it is going to be a crush 50x might be a silent is this a silent one can't tell if it's silent or not oh it's definitely not silent it's got some knockers in it just kind of a shad pattern kind of your basic square bill nothing too crazy but again really good paint patterns that they have just really good job and the hooks are always good on these things as well this is a shallow diving crankbait i don't even know if i need to tell you where to throw that basically throw it everywhere anywhere it's shallow throw it if there's cover there especially throw it because then you're really going to want that so now it's time to figure out what is in this giant box right here i'll let you guys get a sneak peek there and we'll just kind of unroll it together you're seeing it before i am i think maybe if i turn it this way bam it is a trace. Again, they're hooking us up. This must have been like their Christmas special to hook us up with something really, really awesome. This is a six inch swim bait, fast sinking trace. You can see it right here. And I'm gonna open this up just cause this one opens up real easy. And I have one of these and I've been throwing it a little bit. I haven't caught anything on it yet, but uh, my last scope's kind of jacked from trying to get it lined up. So anyways, I'll be back in the action, hopefully be able to throw this some more, but check out that bad boy. Super awesome, even comes with an extra tail as well. That is a heck of a six cents subscription sack right there. Now this thing, you can throw this around those bridge pillars, you can throw it on top of brush piles, you can throw it around timber. You can throw it pretty much anywhere you throw, like say an A-rig, right? You, so you've got some pretty big hooks, you're obviously gonna hook, get hooked up in some stuff, but you, if you can throw the A-rig there with the open hooks, you can definitely throw this thing. And that is going to be a really good fish catching machine. Throwing that off points, stuff like that, it's going to be really good. Hopefully, I can get you guys some video of me catching them on this because it'll be really my first time transitioning into these hard baits. And I'm not even going to say big, this is only six inches, but really kind of transitioning into that type of swim bait, something that I want to learn. So, check that out. And hopefully, you can send me some video of you catching it when you win this sack. So, I mean, that's all we got left. That's all that's left in the sack. We got to come up with a word, right? Because I'm going to give you this word. And once you get this word, all you have to do is respond back in the comments with this word in some creative way. A lot of guys do poems for me. It's all kinds of good stuff. I love it. So we're going to add the word trace. That's going to be the keyword for tonight. All you need to do is put trace in your comment. I think we've even done trace before. We're going to put trace in the comment and you're going to hit the like button and you're going to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel once you do all that then you're entered in i'll come back next week i'll read through the comments i'll go through and tell you who all subscribed we're going to spin this big old wheel and that wheel's going to land on somebody's name and they're going to win this six cents box and then i'm going to spin the wheel again and it's going to land on somebody's name again and they're going to win one too so we're going to give away two next week should be a good one stick around till next time Tight lines. Hope you catch your PB. Later. Bye, y'all.